man, I missed the arch. Yeah, I know, that, that sniffing is not nice, man. It's, it's really annoying. And, but for me, over there, that's Scuttlebug, man. That Scuttlebug is not nice. You have to wait for the correct cycle while wall kicking, and then get the arch. Yeah, it is. Because 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 you have to get um you know cycles. You have to wait for the cycles, and it's very very and especially in the middle of the town, it's very stressful to wait for cycles. Very stressful. While wall kicking, and then having to get an arch. If doing it in practice, it's probably not that. It doesn't seem that hard, but in attempts, attempts, it is just. It's nerve wracking. Makes you want to sweat hard. Especially, imagine having 29 and a half, 36 reds and doing that garbage. For reds, oh my god. And, and without that last card, well, the next jump after that is um, very precise. The farthest I've gotten, it's to the, um, you know, the part after that where you have to do those precise wall kicks. Um, yeah, it's the part right after those crossovers. That's the, that's the part that we which is actually pretty good, actually. Yeah. There's about, you know, two minutes of... Um, two minutes of platforming after that. But that includes the fire QSLGs at the end. That's the most BS uh, enemy placement in the entire level. Crossover crossovers aren't that good. Yeah, I agree. I don't find it that funny. It just doesn't seem like that, you know, anything. I agree. The most awkward awkward part of this level is probably the beginning. Stuff like this. These these wall kicks right there. Those wall kicks are very awkward to do. Very, very awkward. Most of the, the beginning wall kicks are very awkward too. Yeah, the models are nice. But when the game reads them, you know, when the game reads Brandy's models, it's just boom, invisible wall, boom, invisible wall, boom, invisible wall. Hey, at this point, I want more to get caught by collision. Hey, there you go, Brandy. I just, I just, you know, effed up your model. And Brandy's like, oh, cool, you just made my model harder. Cause here's the thing about Rambi, I mean, don't get me wrong, I love Rambi, but, you know. When a member Rambi runs into like a really, 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 really bad invisible wall and really, 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 really bad collision, Rambi just sees it and he's like, that's eh, fine, doesn't matter. <laughs> hey, do nothing. What would we do? A, do nothing. B, fix it. The answer is always A. I'll go for A. Good job, Galactic. You just chose the Ram. You just did the Rambi move. And the Red Walker moment, yeah. Thankfully, you don't have to do that anymore. I mean, it's. Because I found something that Summer apparently found, but then didn't, didn't want to tell anyone. You Sumbro, yeah, yep. Yeah. <laughs> tried to hide it from us, huh? Sumbro tried to hide an amazing strap from us. You traitors! Okay. Never mind. Anyway, um. Yeah, so. That's that. We got a nice strap. <laughs> strap hiding it. <laughs> Bro. I think the whole thing was that, you know, Summer was going to, you know, do a wall and all play reds, but then he just, you know, decided not to. Um, he just, he quit the grind, but then he just forgot to, you know, 
told people about the strat, or just he didn't really feel like it. Don't get, don't get me wrong, even the strat, it's still quite, it's kind of difficult. But, you know, number one, you don't have to worry about collision, and number two, it's a bit easier. So yeah, that's that. We're, we're going back. We're gonna circle back. Ready of hard walk is a BS collision. Yeah. Well, well, the original, well, the intended is both of those things. Wait, there's a Treasure World 2? That exists? Okay, I didn't know that. Course one, bro. Imagine even touching that garbage. Yeah, course one basically looks like a, a tennis court or something like that. Or what is it called? I don't know. Whatever, I think, you know, any course, if you remake it, you know, it has potential to be good. Course 7 is good. But I like Course 7. Because I did it from the, um, I actually did it from the Course 6 entrance, like a normal human would, instead of being a stupid idiot and following the list. Um, excuse me, what? Sorry, Shine, didn't mean to, um, hurt your feelings. Anyway! So that's that. People who did the Course 5 entrance hated the start. People who did the Course 6 entrance loved it. Like me. Be a human, just do the Course 6 entrance, you'll like it much better. Because it's an actual star that way. Lock Dream. Lock Dream is, it has that really one, that one really, really, really awful collision arc, man. I know, right? Yeah, Lock Dream is kind of just a free level, but there's nothing special about it. Like, I'll be honest. It...
It's an attempt, Shine. It's a freaking attempt. I'm probably gonna close chat right now. I'm gonna close chat. Sorry. But thanks guys. Thanks. Oh my god, oh my god. Be waiting, we're gonna wait. Here we go! That was pretty easy. Oh my god, I'm sorry for that. That was a bit egoistic of me. That was a bit egoistic, egoistic of me. I apologize. But yeah, we got it. We got the star! Ah! We got the star! Got the star. Got the star. <sighs> oh my god. I actually wasn't that nervous at the end because I practiced this thing a ton. I practiced this for hours, man. Yes, it's. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's always- it's because Shine is here! It's because Shine is here. That's exactly why it happened. <laughs> 